Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to succeed in this class if you happen to need some help with your math. So here's a section from Math 60, but this video is for any of my math classes. But perhaps you're stuck on in this section in Math 60, and perhaps um, you're stuck on a question that doesn't have a video answer with it. Okay, so let's say we're stuck on question 70 in this section. So what I want you to do is circle it and leave it. If you've been working on it for a while and, and you know, you shouldn't be working on a question longer than 10, 15 minutes, then just circle it and leave it and move on. And plan to see me in, uh, in my Zoom office, okay? So I do have scheduled times. And if you check, you'll notice that there's, we have a Zoom check-in this particular quarter, Tuesdays, Thursdays, anytime from 11 to 7. Um, but on the quarter you, you have, it might be different. But, but why not pop into my Zoom office? If you click here, there'll be a link. Click there. And I will have a live, a piece of paper, camera, different colored pens. If I'm not there in the office right at that moment you enter, you need to call my phone. I'll hear the phone ringing and then I'll get into the Zoom office and help you. Your question may already be answered on a video. If the question number is in blue, for example, if you're stuck on question 80 and 1.6 in Math 60, look, it's in blue. If you click on that, look what happens. A video pops up and this video guides you through that exact question. How many eight ounce glasses can be filled from... Th okay, so in this particular section, we already have a lot of questions where there is a video for the answer already. So watch out for that. You may also see some of your classmates work in homework sharing, perhaps. Please don't be stuck on question 70. Circle question 70. Move ahead to question 71, question 72 if you can. If not, circle those as well. But move ahead. Let's do the next video. Write the examples down. Let's, um, you can take the quiz or you can skip that quiz and just move on to the next section, right? So we've, we're stuck on question 70 from, from 1.6, but we're just gonna move ahead with any work we can do. So I don't want one or two questions to stop you from doing your work, okay? You've circled them. You're gonna get help in my Zoom office um, later on. Move on to the next section. Do these video examples. Try this textbook homework. Maybe it'll be fine. Do this video. Try this textbook homework. Just keep moving ahead and doing, doing what, you can, what you can. You're allowed to move as far ahead of schedule as you like. Why not do even try what you can in the next section? And in this, in Math 60 here, we eventually come to um, a review, right? So we can certainly do lots of the review, I'm sure, right? And then... When uh, we, we meet together in the Zoom office, we go back over questions you missed in 1.6, or maybe there's some from before that. We go over a whole bunch of questions at once and then you get caught up. But think about that. Think about how you can go ahead with what you're able to do and circle things you got stuck with and get help with that later. I'm not going to... Um, penalize you or take points. You don't lose any points for having a quiz or two um, not done yet. Okay. So I want you to learn. I want you to be happy. I don't want you to be getting stuck on one or two questions and getting behind schedule. Right. But the most important thing, and we've said it over and over, is you've got to play these videos and write the examples down on paper. Play the videos, write the examples on paper. Play the videos, write the examples on paper. If you do that, then you'll learn lots and you should be able to do most of the homework, textbook homework, right? Um, and again, if you find that the workload is too much, um, feel free to just do all the videos and then go ahead and take the quiz. 
the quiz will ask you for some textbook homework, but not all. So if you do all the videos and take the quiz, you'll be skipping some of the textbook homework, right? And my last tip is that to get a decent grade, you want to be able to do everything on the reviews. So here's a review for chapter one, and there's also a chapter one review quiz. But you need to be able to do everything in these reviews. If there's odd, number odd numbered questions, check the back of the book for the answers. And if there's a quiz, you want to be getting everything correct on the quiz. If there's anything you've missed on the review, and you absolutely should circle it and, and contact me for help. Give me a call and we'll pop into my Zoom office. I can shoot you in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, even though we do have the specific time set aside. Um, but I do not mind if you would like to take the test a day or two late because you're trying to get the questions correct on the reviews. That's really important. I would prefer that you test um, a day or two late and get a good score because you were busy trying to figure out what was in the reviews than testing on time and getting a low score, okay? And while you're reviewing, you're also welcome to go back over any quizzes that were particularly low. Like if you got a particularly low score on say 1.4, um, please go back and you're welcome to do that while you're reviewing, right? So Hope you really enjoyed this class. Please contact me to let me know how it's going for you um, What would help you do well? Let me know and hope to hear from you